court, ladies and gentlemen, order in the court, honey. The chief justice of all justices is in the house. Bitch, T.S. Madison, T.S. Mandy, Manhor, <laughs> Mendel Motley, <laughs> Metamusa, <laughs> Magnificent, Money-Making, Motherfucking Machine, yes. Mandy is on the bench tonight. All right, all right, all right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And ladies and gentlemen, let me let you know, I've been telling y'all all week that he was on his way. Mm. Oh. I said all week. Oh. He's on his way. Mm. I said all week. He's on his way. But he here now. He here now, bitch. So what's up? Hold on, let me slide over here and make sure and see if he ready. Go ahead and press OK. And press that there right there. Boom. Hold on, let me make sure you're all right. Because I told y'all he was on his way. You know how the good Lord say, he may not come when you want him, yes. but he's always right on time. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, the bitch of all bitches, yes. the bitch of all bitches that helped me try these cases tonight is the head bitch in charge herself, bitch. Woo! Yes! 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 Is you live? Yes, you is you live, whore? Whore, is you live? Let me tell y'all motherfuckers one thing. That's right. Oh, God. When you get to this level of the game, you need not an introduction. <laughs> but I will give y'all thirsty ass dehydrated bitches one anyway. Come on, give it to us, son. The HBIC, <laughs> the original motherfucking New York is in the motherfucking house. Yes, bitches. Right. Y'all give a round of applause for my bitch. Yeah. Yeah. I wish a bitch could yeah. try me. In, in the motherfucking house, bitch. Oh, yeah. yes. I want to say something real quick. Say it, boo. Let me. Uh, Oh, you can do it right here on this hardwood. I'm ready to address this motherfucking courtroom tonight. Oh, God. This is a motherfucking queendom. Right. This is T.S. Madison's yes. queendom, bitch. Yes, yes. <laughs> so y'all are the peasants, yeah. and we are the queens. That's right. I said y'all are the peasants, yeah. and we are the queens. Are the queens, bitch, right? So I dare y'all peasants Ooh. to tell Miss oh, Queen bitch. Maddie how to run her shit. That's right. That's she right. can have any motherfucker she want in here. Ooh. Guess judging. Don't tell Queen Maddie who she cannot have in her courtroom. Yeah. Guess judging. Y'all will eat off of whatever nourishment the queen will give. Yeah. Yeah. Today, I'm going to be talking about transphobia, homophobia. Now, there has been a lot of drama going on with Tiffany Pollard, also known as New York. She was also in Flavor Flay, and he named her New York. So that's where she got that from. And then she also came back and was in her own reality show, I Love New York. She's basically like the main queen of reality TV. She's been here, there, and everywhere. She has also worked with T.S. Madison on the Queen Supreme Court. When T.S. Madison decided to take her show out on the road, she also took New York along with her. I know I actually met New York at the event that was in Southeast Washington, D.C. For those who are unaware of what's going on, let me just go ahead and give you a little bit of a backstory. New York was taking part of a reality TV show called One More Chance. It was a dating show, pretty much like Flavor of Love. However, she was the wing woman helping the contestant to find the person that he wanted to date. She basically went into a full transphobic attack on one of the contestants, also named Tiffany, but her name is Tiffany Walker. Let's go ahead and play that clip. Very forthcoming with me. And I feel like you have a situation. I do believe that you are a man. Does it bother? No, I'm not. Does it bother you when I tell you that I feel like you're a man and you have genitalia, like penis and balls and sweaty dick? What does that do to you? Like, does it fuck with you? No. That's what scares me. After the episode was aired, she received a lot of backlash, so she decided to make an apology. Let's go ahead and move forward to that. You guys are mad at me today, and there's no reason to be. I don't have a transphobic bone in my body. Let's just say that clip that was seen, the woman in the clip was not trans. 
gendered, okay? And I myself was born a woman and I always get mistaken as a man. Everywhere I go, the grocery store, the airport, I hear whispers, oh, that's a man, that's a guy, I, I know it. I internalize that as strength and I go, yeah, okay, you think I'm a man? Well, that's because you're intimidated right now, you wish you looked as good as I did, and you know I can steal your man. So me calling her a man, it wasn't really like anything disrespectful. It was just me enduring and actually, you know, going through what I go through on a regular basis and just putting that on her and see how she can handle it. When us women that may not be trans are mistaken for men, what do we do with that? How do we flip that? So what I'm saying is a call a heterosexual, you know, hereditary woman, if you will, a man, I don't want y'all to think that I'm trying to diss transgendered women because that's not the case. Literally, the story of my life. But has it stopped me? No. Being a man ain't all that bad, y'all. <laughs> Her apology by itself was some bullshit and it was transphobic. And it was also an insult to the community. She also had the gumption to make herself out to be a victim, saying that people mistake her for being a man all the time, and she embraces it. Well, I'll be honest with you. New York is very beautiful. Absolutely. The older she gets, the more beautiful she looks. You can have all the beauty in the world on the outside, but if you're not right from within, then that still makes you ugly. As far as people accusing her of being a man or thinking that she's a drag queen, Maybe that's because she wears the exaggerated makeup. Being mistaken for a drag queen and actually living your life as a transgendered woman are completely two different things. They don't compare at all. So it made no sense that she even brought that up. People in the community are really upset because they considered her to be an ally. She's friends with RuPaul, also Bob the drag queen, and she's also taken part in Pride. Oh, we up in the house tonight! Yes! I'm gonna let them say hi really quick, okay? Real quick before we get it started. While at an event, she might have been pretty liquored up. She was sauced down. She spoke about drag queens and even said that she feels like she is a drag queen. The thing that I have in common with drag queens is the fact that I'm not afraid to celebrate femininity. A lot of us were born women, but we feel like we have to be minimus. And what I mean by that, we have to minimize our makeup application. We have to minimize our hair. Fuck all that. No. I want hair to the heavens, and I want to be beat in my face. And I resonate with my queens because there is no other way to get ready. Be extra, bitch, because you only go around this motherfucker one time. And I'm going to be extra. And I am a drag queen to my heart. And I love my girls. And my girls love me. I'm going to be 100% honest on how I see this situation. I feel like New York is no different from Kaya when her and T.S. Madison worked together. That was her sister. That was her friend. They made money together and they made moves together. But the moment that they had a problem or falling out, she called Maddie all of those horrible names that you heard Maddie call herself in the beginning of this video. Being the boss that T.S. Madison is, she took those insults, she coined them, and she made a bag off of it. Let's move over to Shekana for a moment. You guys know I've already spoke about her before. When I said, Maddie, what did I tell you about your friends? Because Shekana will say very transphobic and homophobic comments, but then she will turn around and say, well, I'm friends with T.S. Madison. It kind of sounds like the white racist person who says that they have a black friend. You know, they have that one black friend. It's equal to the same thing. 
saying? Now, I never ever responded back to this demon bitch for a long time. After I kept hearing how I was drugging, I, people keep sitting me, I'm like, what's wrong with this man? What the fuck is going on? Now, to the trans women, I'm not talking to you trans women. And I'm disrespecting this fuck nigga because this nigga disrespected me. See? Body shaming to death. Look at that big old bird. <laughs> look at her. And I just been thinking to myself, how in the fuck do a motherfucker look like you to even talk about any motherfucking body? I don't even feel like I'm good enough to talk about folk. You feel me? But I'm finna talk about your motherfucking ass. I don't feel like I'm that bitch where I could be out here dragging people. And I don't see why the fuck you feel that way. You see what I'm saying? Because I said what I said. You look like a motherfucking Grinch. I ain't taking it back. And I don't know what the fuck you is. I don't know if you a woman or a motherfucking man. Everybody done seen your motherfucking flicks and you got a big dick. Your dick bigger than any nigga that ever fucked me. I'm scared of the dick. I don't want it. Then you're here fucking this little man, bending him over, fucking his ass up. Somebody need to report you. I don't think that man know what the fuck he doing. I don't think that man know what the fuck he doing. I think he's slow. You over here raping this goddamn man. Show big ass. Damn right, you are it. What are you? You jacking your dick. I thought your dick didn't both have no feeling. I thought you don't want it. So which one are you? Because I'm confused. I'm confused. What are you? The fuck you talking about? You a Grinch who steals souls, bitch. You coming to me about the community when you sit over there and drag the fuck out your community. And then turn around, I'm for the, I'm for the trans lies. I'm for the trans lies. <sighs> bitch. 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 Huh. Huh. That nigga ain't for no motherfucking trans lies. That nigga some bullshit. He don't like y'all. Let a trans woman come up over him. He gonna be talking about that trans. He don't give a fuck about nobody but himself. He's upset. You can say whatever the fuck you want to say, and I say whatever and I want to say. I don't have anything say. against the gay community, a trans. Or Are you shit. sure? Just you think, but I, see you I don't, get, I don't get what you coming from. Like, I go to gay pride, I fuck with gay Girl, just because gay. you go to gay pride don't, don't mean I'm that you ain't I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with you, though. I'm trying to figure out why you so aggravated with me, though. Because I said this man got a big dick. He still got a big dick. I'm not Girl, I didn't say that, that he, he got a big dick. You missed my point. It's not about him having a big dick. It's about you being bothered and by you being pressed about him having a big dick. It's not I about just one situation. You bothered. I'm not. Girl, I'm not. Girl, I could never be bothered, baby. You still got a big dick, though. I know because all the men want the trainers now. Yeah, they want the trainers. Girl, I'm a female. No shade. No shade. I'm a female. Girl, you're a whole trainer. I have a pussy. You have a dicky. <laughs> I'm a big fan of you, though, for real. I don't give a really fuck. Like you still got a dick. I'm a big fan. You still got a dick. Yeah. Peaceful, just me and Otis. So you're not with the girl no more either? She gets no life, no publicity. She pulled a, she pulled a crazy, crazy. I'm going to have to call you and tell you about her. Yeah, you need to call me, girl, because it's too. Privately, because she, she, she's worse than what the world thinks is going on with Drew and April. She's worse than that. So you going back to dicks? No, I'm not. So you're not going back to dicks? No. Scrap what I, I let Scrap talk me out my panties. I don't even wear panties though, so I don't even know how that happened. But he was my confirmation that I'm not going back to dick. So he ain't fuck you good? Um, yeah. But how you turned up on him, so I thought he had to tow this shit up. <laughs> he had to get in there. Okay. I did. He did. I, I he did, but <laughs> I mean, I seen you do a whole jump. I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> a jump. <laughs> when they when you came home and you jumped up on his ass on the sofa. I mean, when y'all was somewhere, you just wrapped your legs around and I said, "Damn." Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. At his sister's house. Yeah, it's like, what type of dick is that? That bitch jumping up and down by that dick. <laughs> oh, you forgot. I, mm, I did. I was like, I jumped on him. You jumped on it. And you were just so freaky again. Like, I could see so much freakiness coming at you. I'm like, damn, on these. Um, yeah, no. I, I'm, a, I'm, yeah, no. The penis yeah. is not, it's not my jam. But the penis had you freaky for him. No, actually, the penis. No, I seen friend. you more freaky with that boy than I seen you with the girl. 
You know what, Shakana? Mm, you might be right. Mm, girl, you was goddamn kissing and all that shit. I never seen that side of you before like that. That's true. I'm serious. You was just like, Oof. no, that's true. So I just thought I did without it, you know. Well, see, and I'm not the right person because then it seems like I'm saying that it's not. Like, it's just not for me. Like, and okay, so here's but the best way like that I do. Just like the instance, if, if you had a fucked him. And the dick was great. He treated you great. He wasn't a cheater. He didn't have a whore. He didn't have whore problems. Woody would have worked out then. He did. Okay, wait. Let's start with one. I want to make one thing clear because I don't like the way this sounds. It sounds like I'm saying that he didn't do a good job. I'm just like. Sound like you fucked him and then just like, fuck it. I'm going back to women. I don't think so. Yeah. It was like one of those things where, and it wasn't because it was bad. Like, He's a very passionate person. He's great at, like, all his, like, techniques and stuff, you know? I guess that's what you would call him. Um, but, like, he's a great... And I think what makes Scrap a good lover and friend is the passion. Like, he's attentive. Mm. And we're both Pisces. I'm March 4th. He's the 7th. Mm. So he's just very, like, in the moment. So what about Fizz? When Fizz used to be fucking you, what was that like? I don't even remember. I'm not even gonna lie, it's been Girl, what, you had a whole life years. How you don't remember? I was young. It's been like eleven years. Let's see, Cameron will be ten in January. You remember that? And answer. and we no, we were together when I found out I was pregnant, and I was pregnant in what two thousand nine. He hasn't fucked me since before we broke up. Oh, so you really don't remember? No. So you don't know if it was small, big, fat a little bit, skinny a little bit. No, I actually think I blocked that from, like, my whole psyche. I just remember it had a hook. I don't remember which. Oh, and it did got a hook. It had your hook, Paul. It got a hook. I don't remember if it was left or right. I just remember it was a hook. So, yeah. So, if Drew got a That's... hook, then Drew would put that shit on. I don't think Drew, but did I don't other... know. But did the other boy have a hook? Who? Scrap. Did he have a hook? No, 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 no. He had a very pretty. It was normal. It was like an. I looked. I inspected it. <laughs> so it was no hook. I was like, look, my first penis, and I can't tell you how many years. I need to see what that looks like. I need You're to supposed to look at all the dicks, not just his. Any dick going in that thing, you need to. Go well, I haven't it. seen a dick that since. I haven't seen a dick since. So it's like, you know, we gotta find you some dick, honey. But yeah, he's 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 a good he's great at what he does. Like it was great. It's just not for me. What's not for you, Monique? Oh. The penis. Men. Men I are not for me. Way, but a woman not for me either though. You know what I'm saying? I will tell you why I prefer women. Uh uh, fuck that. Why I you never cry. Why over, you? I, wait, I, I wait, 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 wait. I put laughing emojis. I put women. laughing emojis. I was playing with you. I actually like you, but you call me a bitch and you call me gay and you said I'd be sucking. And you was. And you motherfucking was. And I don't even know you. And you was. You came on here and proved me the fuck right. I said you were sucking dick before I seen you. And when I see you, you look like you been sucking dick. Period. I don't gotta let him do shit. This is my live, bitch. You go on his live and watch what he got to say. He got a whole story. He's on his own live. He said that bitch Shakana just disrespected me. That bitch Shakana just haunted me. That bitch just did this. That little bitch been in my comments for a long time saying all the wrong things. But you all didn't see him, right? You only seen me, right? So then the day I know him and say he was sucking dick. And I be goddamn, he come on his live and what he looked like he been sucking dick. You better go. On. You better go. On. What's up? I'm good. Okay, great. So let me explain something to you. I had been talking about for damn near three or four weeks before I called him an itch. That's not what I said. That ain't what you seen, because that ain't what you were looking for, baby. He was talking about me putting up the yellow emojis of the school bus and all kind of shit. Talking okay, about yeah, you I dragging think... me. Okay. So if somebody been yeah. talking about you for three or four weeks, I've been overlooking and did a motherfucker. Uh, yeah, I, I, I snap that too. Exactly. So I'm saying, but, you, but you said, but you've been saying a lot of things about him too. So of course he. Me, but I'm saying though, that fucking faggot started with me. And you see, see that's what like, I'm saying. So that's hey, what I'm saying. Why you call him a faggot? He is a faggot. Why I was a fat bad <laughs> bitch. Why you been body shaming me? Why you been doing all the shit? You been doing it. I get that you're beefing with somebody, you're dragging and gagging and all of that. But when your go-to word is faggot, 
I feel it's that because that's how you really feel. Let's go ahead and listen to that one more time. But the faggot started with me. Are you still See, that's what I'm saying. So that's hey. what I'm saying. Why are you calling him a faggot? He is a faggot. Why I was a fat, bad bitch? So, Why he been body shaming me? Why he been doing all the shit he been doing? He been making you up for that. Doing it. You been doing it to her. Girl, that bitch started with me. Fuck you talking about? Why you here, black bitch? Oh, motherfucking ugly ass. Talk about my motherfucking lie, ho. Bitch gotta go. So Shikana will say things like that. However, then when people call her homophobic or transphobic, she decides to reach out to T.S. Madison so that T.S. Madison can verify and tell people that she's not homophobic or transphobic because that is her one trans friend. I'm just behind the scenes before I even knew what you were doing, you know? But sister, listen. It's a few things that you got to work on what you say in the public. Okay. It's a few things. Tell me something. Really that I really got to sit down and talk with you about and really it, we got to work on it. You know, We can work on it, but Maddie, what about when they come for, what about when people come for me? I don't supposed to say that? How do that work, though, Maddie, when they come on my live and try to go off on me? I'm supposed to be quiet and just let them talk to me and turn away? Let me break a couple of things down real quick. First of all, Shekana says that Maddie has some stuff that she needs to work on. Clearly, Shekana has not worked on anything because she continues to use that same type of language. In my opinion, she did not call Maddie because she wanted to know the right thing to do or how she should talk. She called so that Maddie could be on her Instagram and it could be proof that, hey, I have a transgender friend. If you're going to call somebody and put them on speaker while you're on Instagram, don't you think you should say, hey, I have you on speaker. By the way, I'm live on Instagram. A lot of people said that they were disappointed when it came to T.S. Madison and the New York situation because they expected T.S. Madison to make a public statement. I think people fail to realize that they not only have a business relationship, but they have a personal relationship, which means they have each other's phone numbers. And I'm quite sure Maddie's feelings may have been hurt by what she heard or saw. And she might have reached out to her behind the scenes. She's the kind of person where she's not going to go and put her friend on blast to the public. The same way she told Shekana, even though she didn't know she was on speakerphone, we're going to have to sit down and talk. She would definitely give New York that same courtesy. After the incident that happened on December 13th and then her failed apology, which actually was more harm than good. She took some time from social media because she could not handle the backlash. She came back to give another apology. She also took responsibility and she also teamed up with someone who is an advocate and also a transgender. Um, she did an Instagram live. She seemed very sincere. I'm going to go ahead and play that clip. Hey, everybody. It's me. It feels so good to be back on social media. I've been gone for a long time. There was a lot going on. There still is a lot going on, but I'm here. And I'm so glad you guys are coming into this live stream right now. Um, I think this is the first time I've ever done an Instagram live. So I thank you guys for being here today with me. And um, right now, this conversation is very important that we're going to have here today on my live. <sighs> Let me just take a deep breath because this is really heavy on me. But I'm not going to have this conversation alone. You guys are obviously here with me. And I'm going to have this conversation with a very, very wonderful, accomplished young lady. Her name is Sage. And I'm going to have her join me very, very shortly. 
And um, just to give you a little background on Sage, she is a young, queer, and trans Afro-Cuban artist, and she's also a youth leader. And Sage and I are going to talk about <sighs> my recent transphobic comments and remarks that I made. And... <sighs> I just want to use this, you guys, as a learning experience for myself and for anyone else that's out there watching along with me. We're going to use this to learn and to guide and to be better people from this moment, big mistakes that I made. And um, I just want to say right now, you guys, no hate. This is just for us to get better and to heal as a nation of people and I know I really really messed up and I'm gonna look for my girl Sage I don't want to keep talking on I just really need my girl Sage to join this live okay let me see it looks like someone's here I hope it's my girl Sage Oop, these are questions um, okay oh okay let, let me see you guys bear along with me please oh I see my girl <laughs> you a request miss sage i hope that just happened correctly okay i'm waiting for her to enter thank you god oh. <laughs> hey tim hi hey um hey y'all um my name is sage thank you for the introduction tiffany um so yeah i i am here to have this conversation with Tiffany, but also to invite you all in for this learning experience because, you know, although this is a mistake um, and the, and although the transphobic behavior that Tiffany, um, you know, demonstrated uh, is something that Tiffany needs to take accountability for, right? This is also something that I'm sure a lot of you all in this live and a lot of you who follow Tiffany and are part of her community need to be educated on as well. Um, so although that doesn't negate any of the harm caused, right, it just, we're, we're including all of you all in this learning experience um, and extending the conversation that Tiff and I have had before this. That apology was so much better. I like the fact that she also took ownership for what she had did, and she also understands that she hurt some people. I think her having an advocate to come on the platform with her tells me that she knows that this is some serious stuff. And it seems like she also wants to educate herself. And also she wants to kind of make things right with her supporters. Before I give my final thoughts, I feel like I have to take it back in order to bring it forward and make my point. So I want to go ahead and show some highlights with T.S. Madison working with New York, Shekana, as well as Kaya. She didn't even touch the Lord. She touched the hem of his oh. garment and she was made whole. Right. You mean to tell me they got the blood. The exactly. Blood, the I blood know. of Jesus Ooh. in a tube. Oh. Running away from the devil. Running away from the they devil. They ain't had a real blood. <laughs> no, no, no. That wasn't that, that wasn't that, that wasn't Joshua. <laughs> they was choosing that mess. That chaos. I ain't got time for it. Yeah, well, honey, so you know, I would be up. Uh, I would be right there going, my mama hates me. Tiffany, you want me to hold it? Oh, my God. Yeah, Rachel's going to be in the bottle for you. Yeah, Rachel's coming. So Rachel will be here in a minute. I do, sir. I smell. I just have me a little, a little beverage now. Sister, I just, I smell. Yeah, smoke all to our beverage. Listen, sir, I don't drink, sir. I'm drinking for you tonight, Lord. You drink. I drink a little wine. I don't really drink here. You drink. I drink a little wine. You drink. Hey. I'll be smoking. Hey. I'll be smoking. Hey. 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 Hey.
Florida. I'm from but Dane. She from Dane County. I'm from Dane County. She really from Atlanta, Georgia. Slightly. Don't get it twisted. She from both places. Listen, I smoke. And I've been drinking. I drink. What the fuck you I suppose. I suppose to stop, <laughs> but, but I can't. Kardashian pay you. Yeah, yeah Kardashian, I fuck you if I would. <laughs> and give him the best head I ever gave in all my life. Bitch, you suck dick. <laughs> to the best of my ability. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, obviously, honey, there's a lot of dick sucking going on over there with them Kardashian because Chloe <laughs> Kardashian, who also has child. Cow grout, <laughs> bathtub coffee, <Yeah. laughs> fix a flat, cement, enamel, add glue in her ass. <laughs> she just has gathered her a old nasty two million dollar wedding. Wow. So, bitch, Miss Tokyo Tony, please stop hating on the towel grout. Yeah. Right. I gotta say this though to Chloe because them bitches get two million just to roll out of bed. So for her to only pay two million for a wedding, that tells me she might really be in love. Maybe she didn't have nothing to prove. What you think, Queen Maddie? Well, Queen, this is why I feel. All of them Kardashians. I like them Kardashians. Them Kardashians got a lot of money over there. Yeah, hell yeah. They got lots of money. I'm trying to fuck with one of them. Can you slide in here, sir? I'm still gonna have to. You can slide in here. I didn't say. I don't want to slide off the damn bench here. Me neither. Yeah. We gonna make it. We gonna make it. to the bench tonight we have guest judge uh what guest judge is you coming up here guest judge is it the one with the big dick oh ooh. where he at ooh. i thought she was dismissing all judges yeah. not tonight ah! not if he packing not if he packing well ladies and gentlemen it's only me and the head bitch in charge miss tiffany Pollard. ain't that all she need y'all that's ain't all, that all, all she need that's all she need this Thank my you, baby Thank this you. my baby and let me tell Keep your mouth off of Queen Maddie. That's right. I said the shit. That's right. I'm standing for the shit because this, this Maddie, I love you. I love you too, baby. I do, and we, we are Can Kendrick. you stand up and show them what you got on tonight? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah. Ooh, step back. Baby. Step back into the back where they can see. Come on back into the back. Right here. Oh. 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 Turn around, girl. Oh, oh, oh. Kenya Moore Hall is the first one we Kenya need to see. Moore. We would like to say here at the Queen's Court, congratulations to the Kenya Moore Hall as getting has finally been married. We don't know for sure because she hasn't produced a husband. Well, I've seen some pictures and things. What's his name? I don't know. His name is Bay. Bay. B A E. His name is Bay. What's his real government name? B A E. Bay. Kenya is notorious for not paying her bills. Ooh. If you recall. She was evicted from her home on national television, and she had to move. Remember, she was dancing around in the wedding dress and all that. Yeah. And I can't, for the life of me, understand if she was paying Walter. If she was paying Walter, why would he drop dime on her unless she didn't pay her bill? I did an event with her, and she didn't pay me. Or she didn't know nothing about it. Would call me back. Never got the money. I say all that to say if this new relationship of her, this quote unquote husband is being paid, she ain't gonna pay her bill. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll soon hear about it all over the press. We will. We will. Trust, I don't buy this wedding. I don't buy this relationship. I don't buy that that's her husband. He doesn't want to be on TV. The whole thing is a hot mess. Yes, and I feel like Kenya Moore is a ginger snap. <laughs> Kenya Moore is a ginger snap. Yes. Oh, excuse me, on the docket is escape. Again? Yes, bitch, you keep writing Ooh, that name. People, everybody wanted to know that it was an escape new two singles shots at Candy and T.I. Did y'all hear Escape uh, to do singles? Um, they're not really on the docket tonight. We just really asked the question because they done had their season finale. Uh, one of the girls apologized. Did you think she was sincere? I did. When I watched the finale, I did think that they were sincere because mm -hmm. she was crying and carrying on. They had she Karen, said God can do all. They had Karen Clark up there saying, yeah! 
The clock sisters came to show y'all folks how you really supposed to sound. Mm -hmm. And since you say that God can do and change all things, we hoping that he can shrink candy pussy. <laughs> but we... God, please pray. That we're going to ask Kenny to pray to strength of pussy. What makes you think Kenny got a, a big pussy like I'm that? I'm saying it, it's been through a lot, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I guess money can't do all things because money cannot shrink you whole pussy. I don't care how much rejuvenation you get. The miles don't go nowhere on the old car. You can put a new motor in it, but it still look like an old car. You can repaint that hole, and it's still going to You can put candy paint on that hole, Florida candy orange paint. And hold that pussy. It's <coughs> still gonna be a 1969 Oldsmobile. Well, you know what? <laughs> but we gonna congratulate you for singing baritone on Broadway. What she saying? Baritone. Every man wants a. Wait a minute. What it is? Every man wants a. Wait, how I go? Every with? man wants a woman. You know what? Before we move on to the next case, let's have a word of prayer for Candace Pussy. Do you know you always praying? I do. Because taught you well. She did. She, she, she told me to pray for everything. Okay. Father God, we come to you bed right here on the Queen's Square. Mm -hmm. Lord, we're asking you to please let our judgments and sentences be fair. Mm -hmm. It has been brought up that Kaya has said that Candace Pussy is big <laughs> as her two of us. Why is all us? Lord, we are asking you right now to fill the gap. Shrink it, Lord. <laughs> in between that big pussy. Put it in a dryer one too many times. Lord, Lord we tell you, we asking you, Lord, to take that pussy to the please old lady. it, game. Lord, so we can be stuck in Time. Put that big pussy in the freezer and let it shrink up. Let that time. pussy go back to the future, Lord, because they got a heart. Lord, give us the strength in this sentencing, Lord, to let it be carried out. We want to put her pussy on probation, but Lord, we know everything is in your hands. So we just ask and we come into you, Lord, as a friend. For a the connection breaking. I think the Lord said this matter is too big. Even for <laughs> oh my the amen. connection is breaking. Okay. Also on the case is the real Fire and Tamar and Hiram Ray J. At least they put they, they wanted a pussy that on. They, they kept it feminine. Oh. A blouse. Ray J was the closest thing to Tamar they could get. Why y'all just don't put the Queen's Court in that time slot? Don't nobody want to see Ray J tied ass. You, do you want to see Ray J, sister? Hands up on anybody that want to see Ray J. That's all I got to say about that. So the next case that we have on the docket is Four Generations of Bitches. We have Toya Johnson. Resume? Wait a minute, resume? Ah, ah, no, it's Toya Johnson Carter, right unknown. Okay. Okay, her mammy, her daughter, and her unborn fetus. Her grandmother. Her grandmother, her mother, her, and the unborn fetus. Yes, yeah, so we're going to go to Regine Carter. Yes, go ahead. You know, Regine, now you usually don't read you. <laughs> no, but she, she clarified that she I was 19 and the date were working. Her and her conjoint twin. They were I don't know who's the mother or who's the daughter. Oh. You know, but I know this, your mammy didn't teach you no respect or manners. That's one thing that I know, because baby, one thing you need to know is don't you ever, in your 19 years of living, try to get into a ring with a professional roaster. See, that's where you fucked up at, and your mammy should have told you, but see, they ain't taught you nothing. Your mother or your grandmother ain't taught you nothing, because they should have warned you by coming into this street with all these 16, 18 wheelers that's going 180 miles an hour. You're going to get bam, boom, and crashed and ran over. You got to know what you're dealing with. Now, I know you're supposed to defend your mother. That's your mother. And you're supposed to protect and defend your mother because no nigga has ever done it. You have been her husband, her sister, her friend. You have been everything to her since she was a little girl, including her bread. Okay? Her meal ticket. Okay? Her bank account. Can you elaborate? I'm just saying, Reginae has always been the adult in that house. She's running around the house with a bunch of junkies and, and purple lip, lips purple and tongue. It's purple as a pit bull. All that weed and bulk and hair around. They've been smoking around there. She has always been the breadwinner. So, you know. What? Can you? Um, she has to protect her mother. I don't I, understand what you mean by she's always been the breadwinner. Can you please elaborate on that? <laughs> it's always been Reginae. Call your daddy. Reginae, call your daddy. Reginae, your daddy. Regine, call your daddy. <laughs> we want to make sure that you can call your daddy anytime you get ready. This phone has free calls, outgoing calls. Your daddy can't call in, but you can call out to your daddy for a year. So we want to make sure that you can call your daddy at any time. Call your daddy, Regine. Merry Christmas. We love you, baby. We want to make sure that you can get in touch with your daddy. 
she was conceived when her mama was 14. <laughs> you know, her daddy was never there. You know, you know, her mama grew up in the trap house. You know, 14, had her, you know. So she's always been the, the leader of the pack. The meal ticket. Yeah, because she was the only one that wasn't high until she got 16 and started smoking with her mama. You can look at her lips black as they is and tell ain't nobody that is supposed to have no lips black as a big boy. Reginae, now I'm gonna go on to Toyota. I told you that we, we was gonna get deep into this, you know, because see, Reginae, y'all got to understand, Reginae has always been the call your daddy. So she's had to endure a lot. You know, she, you know, she couldn't dance, she couldn't sing, she couldn't rap, she inherited nothing from her father. So the OMG girls didn't want her. You know, she stepped into the real world and know that it don't matter how much money your daddy got, you always gonna be the ugly duck. <laughs> you know, your daddy send you clothes, they too small for you, so you let your mama wear them. And all she wanna do is post the pictures on Instagram. I'm tired of seeing them, girl. I'm tired of seeing you post the pictures, your bad body, your tie hanging through. And I, I, I don't understand what is really going on, Toya. You know, you need to be, raise your daughter. You're not her sister, you're not her friend, you're her mother. None of them niggas never loved you, girl. So, Kaya, oh my God. So, Kaya, but it's Little Kim and uh, Remy Ma. The singles, the music they put out. Uh, this this new single came out, Wake Me Up from Remy Ma. And the single from Little Kim called uh, Took a Break. Take another break. Okay. Kaya, I need to do this, okay? For me, as, as the just judge, I did like... A little bit of that. What little bit? Did you I did like a little bit of the Remy Ma one. Wake me. I did. Because like, she was sounding like T Pain on the hook, or what? No. I. I now. Who I, wrote that shit? No. I hold on, cause I need to do something. I did like that. Little Kim's new single. It trended. Billboard was. I mean, they loving it. I don't like the sound. It's not for me. It's not the Kim that I love. I don't like the sound. It sounds like Migos, a New York Migos mix. Kind of like I don't, I didn't like. Don't it. wake me up, I'm asleep. So now I'm gonna go ahead on, and I'm gonna allow you to finish. I just had to get that out. I did like that, Remy. I did. I'm not gonna front. I don't. Don't really, wake I don't, me up, Remy. I'm asleep. Okay, hold on, sister. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and allow you to go. And One Kim moment, little. Take another break. One moment. I'm asleep. Do that say no fraud? Oh, that say no comment. I thought that say no fraud. It say no comment. I'm sleep. And you know how it is when you wake a black woman up out of her sleep. Don't come in and in, in grandma room waking me up when I'm sleep. I'm sleep. Take another break. Oh no, Kaya. Oh no. Yes, or what? Oh no, I'm not. I'm not. The bailiff gonna have to come in for this. If you was real punk hoe, you would have said my name. But bitch, I'm calling you a hoe. And I'm standing to your face. Katrina Sour Puss Harbor. I ain't got nothing to do with this. I got it. I'm out. Why are you out, sis? Mm -hmm. I hit this bitch up 17 years ago, you know. Now the people finna see me hit this bitch up again. You know what I'm talking about this? <laughs> well, we gotta talk about this, you know, because she got on the breakfast show calling people. Cockroaches and stuff. You don't want to talk about it? Why you got that mask on? Now see, I let your stepdaughter slide. <laughs> but I ain't gonna let your I ain't gonna let you the stepdaughter who I ain't gonna let you get away with it. your stepdaughter? Who is the stepdaughter? You know Sourpuss is is resume stepmama. She was fucking her daddy and her mama. So I let Resume slide, you know, I went light on her, but this rotten body corroded ass bitch, non-producing, unproductive waste of time. Walking bed bugs. She called me a roach, but roaches be everywhere. You know, they, they go everywhere, they get played everywhere. Every club you go in, you hear them, and you pack up and leave, they with you, they all over the world. Bitch, you ain't nowhere but in Miami. Talking about you the baddest bitch and you the queen of Miami, girl. Well, <sighs> least you got on the breakfast club and finally admitted after 17 years that you was a carpet bunch of pussy eating whore. Turning out these young folks. Fucking and sucking for beats and fashion. You know, you didn't want to acknowledge me just for the roaches and claiming as a motherfucker woman. You don't love the hip hop, they got to go through you. Go through you. Only thing go through you is this. That's the only thing go through you. Girl, you don't own nothing, not a house, not a car. 
You don't own nothing. So don't try to get these people to thinking that you own anything and that somebody has to go through you. We already said that we don't have nothing to, gonna have nothing to do with moments now. Sourpuss, sourpuss, sourpuss. I really don't know what to say to you other than I hit you up a long time ago, but don't you ever in your 49 years of living, you bastard hound looking bitch, try to come for me. You is not the baddest bitch. You do not look better than me, bitch. You do not have more hits than me. All you do is try to make friends with bitches in the industry. You're just a bed bug. If I'm going to roll you a bed bug, then you know how bed bugs do to people's lives. You've been infecting people's beds for many, many, many motherfucking years. You bastard hound looking bitch. Don't you ever try to come for the queen. You not the baddest, you the saddest hoe. You are the original Cardi B. Cardi B just came in the game and she done won all kind of awards, hoe. You done been in the game for 17 years and you ain't won nothing but a disease. <laughs> Give me this whore, Jill. Where is it at? Hit this whore. It's because I can ride your pussy. Since no nigga ain't never gave you nothing, I given you an iodine douche to clean that sour puss because it ain't been cleaned in years. Some feminine deodorant spray because your pussy been sour. You been fucked out and fucked through. You need to spray some of this spray on that stank ass pussy and shed with Kate Michelle because her shit stank too. Some mouth wash because you been sucking dick and pussy. I know your mouth is rotten and corroded. Put some of this mouthwash on your pussy and spray a little bit on the sponge when you wipe your ass. And some feminine body wash. All of these things is for you to take care of that sour puss. Nobody ain't married and ain't no baby ain't never came out of it. Bitch, you 49 years old and don't you ever in your 49 years ever try to come for the pussy. Next day. She my bitch. And that's my motherfucking bitch and that's right there. So don't disrespect my sister. And that's just what it is. Maybe y'all want to be with the shits, bitch. I'm with the good person. I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about. Mm -hmm. Maddie called me. I'm on my way, and she knows she can call me for whatever. And, and it's likewise. Stop playing with my sister. Right, motherfucker. Stupid asses. Man. But the rest of y'all that love us and we love, love we love you. you. <laughs> Listen, we're gonna have a good show tonight, girl. We gonna we gonna air it tomorrow. I got shit to do, girl. In those videos, you saw all three ladies having a wonderful time together, calling each other sis, that's my friend, making money, having fun, enjoying life. However, all three have said transphobic and homophobic stuff, knowing that it would hurt T.S. Madison. Now, while I will say the New York and Shikana have never attacked T.S. Madison, personally, when you attack somebody in the community, you are still attacking her. Personal attacks from Kaya. Let's go ahead and get into those. Who you trying to impress? These same punks that's laughing at you now? Huh? And I love my gay community. I don't give a fuck about you motherfuckers trying to make this a gay, a straight, uh, 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 a sissy punk word, gazoo, leotard. I'm going to call you a punk ass, punk ass, puss ass nigga in my burning mat. Punk ass. You punk ass. Get your punk ass out of the refrigerator, bitch. Get out of here. You ain't getting no goddamn cook ass. You ain't getting no goddamn milk and cook ass, bitch. It's punks in the world, okay? It's fuck ass niggas in the world and it's fuck ass puss ass punks in the world. Bitch, if I could call them whole sour puss, I done said this a thousand times. If I could call you these black bitches ignorant, black, dumb, silly hoes. I can call you fuck ass punks punks when I see a punk. When I see a black, gay, well-respected black male that's carrying himself like he's supposed to be carrying himself, then punk a sissy, a fuck ass puss ass leotard and gazoo would come out my motherfucking mouth. Is you live? Is you live? Girl? I'm live, Laura. What's the tea, Queen? Hey, Queen. Hey. <laughs> can you hear me all right? I can hear you good. I was calling in to talk about that bad body bitch, Mandy Man Whore. Mm -mm. I already know everybody's saying I'm homophobic. Y'all know that I was a sis and punk in my last life. I earned. I was, I was a sis and a punk and a bag. No, a sis and a bag and a punk rock too. Look. <laughs> <laughs> in my last life, I was a messy sissy. And then I changed my life for the Lord, and he gave me my pussy when I came to earth this time, y'all. So y'all can't call me homophobe because I was a drag queen in my last life, bitch. I'm real fish in this life.
Like, they say they tried to make it seem like you homophobic. You said it yourself that you do that for your money. You do it for your money. I so sure did. So you wasn't yes, I did. Yes, I did, bitch. Yeah. But the bottom line is when I said it, I said if it's for the money with me and T.S. Madison, it's pay-per-view, bitch. I'll do it for the money. I was talking about T.S. Madison at that time, but bitch, it don't matter. Motherfuckers go to work and work with people they don't like every motherfucking day. And you take your black ass to work and your nine to five to get your check. And you don't like your boss and your supervisor, mother. So if I don't want to work with a motherfucker and that motherfucker happens to be a sissy or a tranny, bitch, I'm going to motherfucking go and get that check. But I don't have to like you. Next caller. Kaya has all of these derogatory names for T.S. Madison, but make no mistake, that is the same person she was sitting next to when they were on that show and traveling around the world. Kaya should pretty much be your confirmation that if you ever fall out with the other two ladies, New York and Shikana, I would imagine that they would use some of those same gay slurs towards you, homophobic and transphobic slurs. Now, I'm not telling her not to be their friend and all that other kind of stuff. That's not my cross to bear. It's not my battle to have. I think when it comes down to business, the only thing that these ladies see is the color green, meaning money. They don't care if the person is straight, gay, bisexual, or trans. But when it really comes down to it, would they want their family member to be with someone gay or trans? Absolutely not. If so, they wouldn't talk the way that they talk. There's nobody that can tell me that these ladies don't have a certain level of homophobia and transphobia. Kaya is never going to change. And that's just that on that. Now with Shakana living in Atlanta, I think it's absolutely ridiculous because it's heavily populated with gay people. So how can she be so ignorant at the same time? I do commend New York for giving a genuine apology, also trying to educate herself as well as reach out to the community. And that's more than I can say about the other two. As I always say, forgiveness starts with a change in behavior. There's no need of saying you're sorry if you're not going to change the behavior that created the problem. I hope that New York and Shikana do better. T.S. Madison is a wonderful person and these ladies need to change because Maddie is deserving to have friends who not only respect her, but respect her community. That's it and that's all. You will see me or hear me on my next video. Bye-bye.